Right, good morning. Now, the first question in magnetic field. Um, two long straight wires are orientated perpendicular to the page as shown in the figure below. Okay, uh, we, have, yeah, we have two conductors here, I1 and I2. Yeah, 3 ampere and 4 ampere. Uh, the current in one uh, wire is I1, 3 ampere, pointing into the page. Yeah, this is going into the page. And the current in the other wires is I2 equal to 4 ampere. They are going out of the page. Uh, determine the magnitude and direction of the net magnetic field intensity at point P. Okay, first of all, what is, uh, what is this, um, what is this uh, magnetic field intensity? Well, okay, uh, this is actually the same as magnetic field strength. Yeah, let's write it down. Yeah, this is the same as uh, magnetic magnetic uh, field uh, strength. Yeah, same meaning, uh, which is uh, B. Uh, yeah, sometimes we also call it magnetic uh, flux, uh, magnetic uh, flux density. Uh, so it has several names. Yeah, you can call it magnetic field intensity, you can call it magnetic field strength, you can call it magnetic flux density. Uh, so this all same mean the same thing, B, yeah, with symbol B. So the question asks for uh, the magnitude, uh, magnitude and direction. So you need to give both uh, magnitude and direction. Uh, in fact, this is a vector quantity. You need to give both, yeah, also, yeah, uh, even without the word magnitude and direction, yeah. So it has direction, yeah. So okay. Now first of all, uh, we want to find the magnetic field at point P. Uh, point P. So uh, we have two current. So each current, which each current will provide its own magnetic field to point P. Uh, so before that, we need to find out magnetic field, uh, magnetic field strength, uh, which provided by each current. Uh, so we put as uh. For current I1, we put as B1. For current I2, we put as B2. Okay, let's calculate. Let's calculate. Uh, for a straight wire, this is for this is uh, considered the uh, straight wire. Yeah, this is considered the straight conductor. Uh, straight conductor. So for straight conductor, this is the formula mu naught i over two pi r. Okay, r is the distance from the conductor. Okay, so for current I1, so we have the current already, I1, 3 ampere. Distance R1 is uh, uh, from R1 to, uh, you know, from R1, from, uh, from current I1 to the point P. Uh, this is R1. Lah. Uh, so this is the R1. Okay, and, and uh, for the current I2, for current I2, the R2 is from here, yeah? From here, uh, um, let the let us uh, uh I, sorry, I rub again. Yeah, let's change to other colors. Yeah, uh, maybe I use the green one. So this is the for R one and for R two. Okay, for R two, uh, this is the R two. Yeah, this is the R two from the conductor to point P. Uh, so uh, what is that? Okay, maybe we can find out for distance R two. Um, yeah, uh, we use Pythagoras theorem because this is a right angle triangle. You see, uh, this is a right angle triangle. So, uh, 5 cm, 5 cm. Uh, so, we can find use Pythagoras theorem to find the R2. Okay, let's find it out. So, it is a square root, uh, square root, uh, 5 cm, 5 cm. Yeah, 5 cm, 5 cm. That means, uh, Change to meter, which is 0 0.05 square plus 0 0.05 square. Uh, so what do you get? Uh, I will get I will get the R2 as 0 point uh, 0, uh, 7071. 7071. Alright. Uh, meter, uh, this is for R2. Yeah, later we will need it. Okay, now let us calculate uh, each magnetic field first, B1 and B2. Okay, let's calculate. Uh, substitute all the values. So mu naught is uh, yeah, 
4 pi exponent negative 7. Okay, 4 pi exponent negative 7. And then for current I1 is uh, 3 ampere. 3 ampere and then divided by distance. How far is it from the conductor to point P? 5 cm. So change to meter 0 0.05 meter. Okay. 0 0.05 meter. Uh, must change to meter. Ah. Then uh, let's calculate. So after calculate, I got it 1.2 exponent negative 5 Tesla. Yeah, that's the that's it. Yeah, that's the magnetic field uh, given by current I1, current I1 to point P. Okay, uh, for uh, 5 cm away. Yeah. Now uh, for B2, what's the value? Okay, let's calculate that also. Uh, so this is 4 pi exponent negative 7 and then multiply by the current 4 ampere. Yeah, 4 ampere uh, and uh, divided by uh, the distance R2. R2 is uh, from uh, P, P is uh, R2 away from current I2. Okay, uh, just now I got this as uh, 0 0.07071, isn't it? Uh, so let's calculate that. Huh? Let's put it inside. This is 0 0.07071 ah, meter. This is in meter, don't put cm. So I calculate that one as 1.1314. Okay, exponent. Uh, negative 5 Tesla. Yeah, that's the magnetic field. So I got the magnetic field given by current I1 and magnetic field given by current I2. B1, B2. Now I need to find resultant. Resultant at point P. So remember, this is a vector quantity. Uh, a vector quantity, you need uh, to draw vector diagram. You understand? You need to draw vector diagram. Because it has, uh, because it has direction. Uh, because it has direction. You cannot just total up. Yeah, you cannot just say uh, b one b one plus b two. Then that is the resultant vector. No, for vector you want to find resultant. Yeah, you want to find the uh, resultant. Yeah, resultant vector. You need to find resultant vector. You need dry diagram, and it involves direction. You need to do. Uh, what we call the x y component ah resolve you need to resolve so that's why you need the diagram x y diagram uh, x y table but before that we need to know the direction yeah we need to know direction and to for direction we use right hand grip rule ah we use right hand grip rule okay right hand grip rule so let's uh, find out yeah uh, direction right hand grid rule um, okay uh, remember the the thumb yeah uh, so i have um, this one uh, remember the right hand grid rule uh, uh, this one this is my finger yeah uh, this this one refer to the current and this one refer to the magnetic field my four fingers refer to the magnetic field my thumb refer to the current Okay, let's uh, do it. Yeah, let's do the right hand grid rule to determine the direction. Okay, uh, so here I have um, drawn, you see, here I have drawn this uh, diagram. Yeah, show you um, this one. Yeah, which is this uh, diagram I already drawn here. Do you see that? Uh, do you see that? Uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So my right hand grid rule, uh, remember it is this one, yeah. Maybe I should um uh, I should um yeah make this at top. Okay, uh, this one uh, right hand grid rule, uh, remember the thumb as the current, the finger as the magnetic field. Okay. So let's look at this diagram. So find the magnetic field for current I1. Uh, current I1. Okay, this is my right hand. My right hand. Remember, use your right hand. Uh, because this is mirror, what you see is mirror. So this is my right hand. So it's opposite from you. Yeah, your right hand is at in, on the other side. Uh, my right hand is over here. So it, because we are looking, you are looking at me uh, as like mirror. Yeah. So I'm actually at the opposite side from you. So uh, 
you hope you understand what I mean. Okay, so this is the diagram I have drawn. So this is the current I1 going into the page. Current I1 going into the page. So the thumb is the current. Uh, yeah. So here, uh, current going into the page. So my magnetic field is this way. Uh, I see. My magnetic field, my forefinger is magnetic field. Uh, magnetic field is clockwise. So magnetic field is clockwise. See, like this. Uh, so magnetic field is clockwise. Hope you understand, huh? Okay, maybe I should use the other one for one second. Okay, yeah. Look at this one. So it is here, this way, this way, yeah. Uh, this is the magnetic field, yeah. Magnetic field. This is considered the B one, B one. So over here is a uh, going to the right you see that going to the right ah uh, going to the right magnetic field going to the right b1 okay ah uh, so maybe here we also can draw yeah over here i draw and uh, the current here is magnetic field is uh, this way b1 so here is going to the right yeah going to the right ah uh, this is b1 and then, uh, what else? Um, yeah, B, I2, I2 is going out. You see, going out. Uh, sorry, current is going out. Yeah, current going, current going out. Uh, my thumb going out of page. So my uh, finger is this way, you see? Finger is this way. Uh, Anti-clockwise, yeah, anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise, so let me draw. It's this way. Uh, yeah, B, this is B2. So. Uh, what I can say is um, uh, uh, at point P, the magnetic field is uh, going this way and uh, going this way, yeah, going this way. So it's uh, this way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this way. Okay. So let, let's draw over there. Let's draw over there. Um, here is current anti-clockwise. According to my right-hand grip rule, this is my B2. And over here is actually this way. Ah, yeah. Uh, B, this is B2. Understand? Okay. Uh, let's let's uh, finish off the rest. Yeah. So, uh, that's B2. Uh, so what I can say is, uh, here we know it is a uh, 45 degree. Yeah. This should be, um, uh, this should be the 45 degree. Uh, 45 degree. Uh, maybe draw the other side. This this one is also 45, 45 degree. Okay. Uh, so now we have the direction ready. Yeah. Remember this B2 is going this way because it follows the direction anti-clockwise. Yeah. Uh, this B2 provided by I2. This B1 provided by I1. Okay. Now we need to find resultant of B1 and B2. So to find resultant, you need to resolve, uh, let's say the B2 into X and Y component. Uh, for B1, it is already X component. Uh, so remember to put the direction, uh, this one, uh, yeah. Uh, again, uh, this one, yeah, uh, going. Remember the direction, uh, going up positive, right positive, left negative, down negative. Yeah? Remember this, uh, the vector direction so uh resolve okay b1 is already in x component so uh that one is um here over here yeah uh, maybe you can write this down here so that is uh uh just now b1 i got uh 1.2 negative 5 so just write that uh 1.2 negative 5 is going to the right so that one is uh positive uh positive going to the right is positive uh, yeah, uh, 1.2, negative 5. 1.2, uh, negative 5. Okay, neg uh, that's, that's it. And then it has uh, no Y component, so just put 0. Lah. Uh, just put 0. And then how about the uh, y, uh, B2? B2 is uh, uh, to the left and downward. Uh, to the left, you see, going to the left and downward. So it has uh, going to the left. For x is negative, going downward, uh, y also negative uh, because going to the left and downward. So negative, negative the, for the direction, yeah? Left and downward. Uh, negative, negative. 
Now B2, you need to resolve, yeah? Uh, so for X component is uh, cos 45, for Y component is sine 45. Uh, so just put it down, yeah? Just write it down for B2. Okay, so this is B2, uh, cos uh, 45, and this is uh, B2, uh, sine 45. Okay, uh, so after that, what I get? What did I get? I get uh, the answer negative for both. Okay, so write the answer. It is 8 exponent negative 6. X exponent negative 6, same to this one. Exponent negative 6. Okay, now total up. Total up the x, total up the y. Okay, total up the x, total up the y. So what do you get for total x? So total x I got is uh, positive. Uh, positive what answer? Uh, 4 exponent uh, negative 6. Uh, so and then uh, for y component, it is negative. Yeah. Uh, 8 exponent negative 6. Ah, okay. So I got the resultant x, resultant y, and then find the resultant Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. So uh, square, yeah. Uh, just um, square root. Uh, the whole thing. Uh, this one, negative 6 square plus this one, negative 8. An exponent negative 6 also square and then finally what do we get we get 8.94 exponent uh, negative 6 tesla uh, so that's the resultant and then um, yeah so again uh, this one uh, we need to find direction uh, this is the magnitude already yeah you got the magnitude already uh, this is only the magnitude uh, the direction you need to um, See again, uh, for x component, it is going to the right. This one is downward. So I draw again, uh, going to the right. Uh, this one going downward. Uh, so this is uh, going to the right, it's going downward, isn't it? Uh, so the resultant is uh, this one. Yeah, this is the resultant. Uh, and this is the end direction. Uh, it is below the positive x, below the positive x. So this is actually the resultant BP, isn't it? Let's find out the theta. Yeah, let's find out the theta. How do we find? Uh, so we need must modulus. Uh, uh, the y, the y divided by x. Uh, the y divided by x. Uh, remove the negative sign by using modulus sign. Yeah, we don't want the negative. We only want a small angle. We don't want a big angle. Hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, remove the negative sign. We want only want the small angle. So, okay, so angle theta is uh, equal to, uh, the answer is uh, 63.43 degree uh, below, below positive x axis. Ah, that's the direction. So we already got the both magnitude and direction of the uh, resultant magnetic field. So is it the correct answer? Yeah, 8.94. Yeah, almost the same. 8.94. And then 63.43. Uh, yeah, 63.1. It's almost the same. Yeah. So, okay. That's it for the answer. Okay. Very simple. Just find the magnitude for B1 and B2. Find the direction using the right hand grid rule. Okay. Uh, right hand grid rule. Find the direction. And then do XY component. Find the magnitude and direction theta okay uh, that's it for this question thank you see you for the next videos